As deep concrete is a software for the structural design of several types of concrete columns, beams, bearing walls, and one-way slabs per the latest ACI 318 provisions. On the other hand, ETAPS is one of the most widely used software for structural analysis and design of building systems. But what about if ASDIP and ETAPS could work together? If you could analyze your structure in ETAPS and design your members in ASDIP concrete. This is Javier Encinas, and today we are proud to announce the integration of ASDIP concrete and ETAPS for the design of concrete columns. This is a brief overview of this new feature of integration between ASDIP concrete and ETAPS. Let's get started. A typical building is exposed to a number of load cases such as dead, light, wind, snow, seismic, etc. Wind and seismic are particularly complex due to the multiple parameters involved in the generation of these loads. If a typical column is under the action of axial loads and bending moments at the top and bottom, then the number of loads to consider in the design of a single column could be in about hundreds. If we consider all the columns in a building, then the number of loads to be generated could be probably in the thousands. Entering all this information, the loads and the geometric dimensions one by one in a design software like ASDIP could be very time consuming and impractical. Fortunately, ASDIP Concrete is now able to import the loads directly from the ETAPS model. This way, the columns analyzed in ETAPS can be completely designed optimized and checked in ASDIP in a matter of seconds. As an example, consider this building, three bay by three bay by four stories. In this building, the story height is 12 feet, distance between floors, with exception of the first level, which is 20 feet. The columns are 18 by 18 concrete columns. So we have 16 columns times four levels is 64 columns. The building has depth, light, wind, and seismic loads. The wind loads have 12 steps and the seismic loads have six steps. These steps account for the plus or minus minimum load eccentricity in each direction. To import the column loads from ETAPS, open as the concrete, then the project manager shows up. Then in project, click on import from ETAPS. Select the project that you want to open. This will open the model in ETAPS and will run the analysis automatically to collect the information. Then ETAPS will close. Going back to the project manager in ASDIP Concrete, 64 nodes were added to the concrete column branch. Each node represents one of the columns in this building. For example, if we click on the first node, this will open the concrete column design in ASDIP Concrete. Here is the information that was imported from ETAS, but the most important to discuss today are the loads. Here we can see the dead loads, life, roof life, snow, wind, and seismic. Particularly wind and seismic are important because we added this new feature here, the wind step. For wind, there are a maximum of 12 steps, and each step has a different set of loads. All these loads were imported from ETAPS. As you can see, the loads changes according to the number of steps. And the most important is that the program identifies the controlling step in the wind uh, loads combinations. The same applies for seismic. In seismic, we have six uh, steps to account for the plus or minus minimum eccentricity in the building in each, in each direction, and also the loads changes according to the number of steps. And again, the program identifies the controlling step uh, in the seismic load combinations. In total, 110 loads per column times 64 columns in this building equals 7,040 loads. All these loads were imported in uh, just with a simple click in this example, just in a matter of seconds that otherwise could take probably hours to enter all this information by hand. Once the loads are imported, you can optimize the design by selecting the reverse accordingly. As the concrete generates the interaction diagram, this is the nominal capacity of the column, and this is the design capacity affected by the fee factors. All these points represent the loads applied to this particular column. The goal is that all the loads fall inside the usable area 
represented by the interaction diagram here. In the near future, the software will include a design manager to the concrete column module. This feature will create a preliminary design of the columns as the loads are imported. This feature is still under development, but will be announced shortly. If you are interested in the software, please download the free 15-day trial visiting the website www.zipsoft.com. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.